What's good my G's, it's your boy Snow, Ignorant Gamers in the house. How you doing, how you living, how you gaming? Of course, if you don't already know, G stands for gamers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Shout out to everybody who's showing me the birthday love. 614 is my birthday, June 14th is my birthday. Sorry these videos are late, but I've just been celebrating and you know recollecting myself throughout these few days. So I'm just gonna get right into it now. Xbox E3 2017 briefing. Overall, quick thing, I'm gonna do a quick roundup video later, but I think the Microsoft showing was pretty good showing. Um, I think it, it, it was very, I think it had a lot of expectations on it. And even though it delivered, I just felt like it was, some people were still like, hey, where's the rest? And they did some unique things that, you know, how they showed the, the, the Xbox One X, formerly known as the Scorpio, how they unveiled the price, how they unveiled what the product looked like, and basically saying what the product does. This conference is really about the One X. A lot of games were shown, uh, 42 games total, 22 of which have some type of Xbox console exclusivity. And um, yeah, let me just get into a few things that was in there. Um, first off, shout out to that big ass 4K screen they showed, right? Again, Xbox One X is the, is the name of the Scorpio. It will be available November 7th. They could consider it its smallest Xbox ever, but honestly, it's slightly smaller than the Xbox One S. I just want to make that out there. They showed Forza Motorsport 7 and it looks amazing. This is the first time I've ever accredited Motorsport, the Forza Motorsport game with looking photorealistic like how like how Gran Turismo goes for. The, the, most of the Forza Motorsport games they have this this video game. Even though it looks really good and looks the graphics has been great. It just always gives you like like the Sega GT, it always lets you know it's a video game first. Um, they debuted the 911 GT uh, GT2 RS, which is from Porsche. That's a huge deal. The game was shown at 4K 60. That is a huge deal on the One X, and it will be available October 3rd. Uh, you know, Phil came on stage. Like I said, 42 games, 22 console type exclusivity. They show Metro Exodus from the Metro series, you know, that game they keep bundling out to us, the game looked amazing. They showed a little bit of Assassin's Creed Origins, they taking it back to the Egyptian days way back, that's available 1027. Then they also announced that Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is coming to the console. Yo, I've been sideballing that game for a while on PC and I want to do it. I have this thing where I'm trying to stay away from the PC. But man, I was so close. So that's dope for console players who don't want to get into the PC world. Then they showed this nice little artistic, uh, artistically designed game called, um, graphically, sorry, designed game called Deep Rock Galactic. It showed off State of Decay 2. Xbox players love this game. I think this is exclusive, console exclusive, period. Looks pretty good. Um, the Darwin Project looks decent. Minecraft will be getting cross-play across every platform the way they've been saying it. I'm talking mobile, I'm talking console, yes, including the PlayStation based on how they said it, and I'm talking PC. And the X1X version is gonna get 4K super duper graphics packs. And I know you're laughing like, what the fuck does Minecraft need to do with 4K? And actuality, I, I seen it. I, I look. I was looking for footage. The textures that they have looks a little bit better, and it, it pops out a little more. So give us a credit. It is what it is, right? Um, all these games, by the way, you can pre-order today. Uh, then they show Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Dragon Ball Fighter Z looks like I don't need to worry about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I have a rant video that I've been dying to put up about that MC, MVCI, and I won't have to. I, actually, I probably still will. So. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Shout out to Arc System Works. This game is looking like it's gonna be amazing, and of course, it's enhanced with One X. Uh, there's this game called Black Desert MMORPG. I know a few of my friends are gonna be all over that. Another game, The Last Night. Another game, The Artful Escape. Another game, Cold Vein looks really good. Then they show CFDs will be available early 2018. I don't care how many times they show me this game, I'm not interested. And Ubisoft has actually made me even more disinterested in this game, and I'll get into that in a second. However, I do think the game will be fun for a lot of people. 
just not my cup of tea. Please don't let me sway you away from that game. Tacoma looks very good as well, August 2nd. Super Lucky Tail, nice little platform game. Think Crash Bandicoot, think Mario World, um, oh, sorry, Mario 64. Um, think about what some of these Conquer games could have probably been today, Ratchet and Clank or stuff like that. Think like that, there you go. Super Lucky Tail, available no November 7th. Big one, Cuphead 929. We finally got a date for Cuphead. Now, Crackdown 3, which is available November 7th, I don't know. That look a little different. That don't look like what was pitched. I'm not saying it's watered down. I'm just saying I don't think that that's what I was shown. I don't think that was the target. I think that's a compromise. It could be a very healthy compromise. That would still be a great game. But something's in, in my head. Something's a little off about the, the Xbox exclusive Crackdown 3. I still think it'd be good. I know a lot of friends that that are all about the Crackdown series. I'm actually looking forward to getting into it myself. It'll be my first actual one, but it looks a little different than what I was what I was told. I would have loved to seen some more on that. Um, then there was an ID at um, Xbox montage that showed 19 games, and to be honest with you, these were all indie games. If you don't know what ID at Xbox is. Some of these games look very, very, very good. Um, I, I, there's too many to name, to be honest with you. Although I will say, I will call out Shift, uh, Dark and Light, Brawl Out, Observer, and Un Unruly Heroes, and maybe Raiders of the Broken Planet. And then um, the 20th one was called Ashen, and that looked really good, too. Uh, also announced on the stage was uh, Life is Strange 2, Before the Storm. Um, and then my personal favorite, and again, 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 I'm going to say this again. Go buy and play Shadow of Mortar 2. Or wait until they make a, a, a pre-order thing. But Shadow of Mortar 2, Shadow, sorry, Shadow of Mortar. Shadow of Mortar has been showing up for like ten dollars buy the goddamn game because this new game which I'm calling Shadow Mortar 2 which is actually called Shadow of War is going to be epic and everything that I love about the first game seems and just what I've seen already has already been improved upon and mainly that nemesis system yo I, I, I can't stress this enough this game was a sleeper everybody including myself slept on this game there was some Assassin's Creed beef this game is fucking amazing. This is one of the best games I've played this generation. Next to, uh, and I'll throw uh, the Wolfenstein game up there too. Play these fucking games, people. Trust me on this. It's a fucking good game. And this Shadow of War will be no shortage of that. Um, Ori gets a part two. Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Uh, this game came out like three years ago. The other game, the original version came out three years ago. Or the version before this, rather. And it was a dope game. Just wasn't my shit. Dope game. I watched people play it. Um, I, it's a dope game. So, there you go. Uh, Phil came back on stage and he said some amazing shit. Uh, you know, he said about the Xbox 360 backwards compatibility. He's saying like half the users um, have, have played it. Um, there's been some drama before this conference came out between Sony saying something about it and, you know, Microsoft throwing some numbers up there. And I just want to be clear with y'all, for those of you who don't have to deal with numbers at your job level, the corporate people know how to spin numbers to make it seem like something is or isn't. That's all I'm going to say about that. And, but let's just say F all that for a second and celebrate that the Xbox OG collection is coming. It won't be everything just because licensing is a motherfucker, but know that Crimson Skies is coming and in the few months ahead, they plan on showing us exactly what else is coming. And um, of course, uh, for anybody with the 4K stuff, you're wondering how it's gonna look. It, the games is gonna run better period because it has more resources to give to the game. So you won't worry about anything stumbling or whatever. And um, if you have certain games already, and you know some of these games are coming before that release date of, this, of the 1X, just know that the 4K updates are free, just like they were in the Pro. Um, the updates, I don't want to say 4K updates on the Pro, but you know what I mean. The updates for the advanced 
best version of the game per console will be free don't don't let that be a marketing thing it's always free it's an update um and then like i said in the ea video they showed anthem and i really do think this is a third person destiny type game but in a different type realm it almost made me want crisis to be third person i know that's kind of bad to say um but you know i think it's co-op all the way through they hinted at stuff that got strikes it will be available and 2018 people was dropping in and dropping out of the game i thought that was pretty dope you running around in exosuits shout out to crisis uh I, yo we'll see i'm not i'm really not up for the open world shit but you know every now and then i gotta give in to my peoples and we rock out and we make it happen this is, this is looking pretty good and um you know yeah you know oh the xbox one x is 4.99 i think that's a great price I'll have another video talking about that soon, but, um, you know, that's coming November 7th, all the 4K updates coming free, there's a lot more stuff coming with the 1X, some of this stuff is trickling out now, and, um, yeah, overall, I think this is a very great showing, um, uh, some of it was to be expected, they hit with the rapid fire of the games, um, for those who are in the ecosystem, those who looking to stay in the eco or get into the ecosystem, is never a better time. And like I'm going to keep saying over and over again when I'm on a PlayStation video or an Xbox video, now is the time. This generation is about having both. Because if you love the games, forget about all the other stuff, you love the games, both are going to give you something that the other one is not able to for whatever reasons, whether it's first party exclusive or experiences, they're both, they're both great to have. Your boy Snow, yes it is my birthday, 614. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, before I end it, link in the description below for all the other E3 videos and the cards above as well. So check those out, please. Please, please, please check those out. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you are already subscribed, you have to share. Thank you very much. Peace.